Hi, I'm Sharon Bill. We started the new year, no doubt, with the best of intentions. We really want to do our music practice. We really intend to do our music practice. We want to see the results of that music practice over time. However, very often, inevitably, life happens and we end up fractured and dissipated and you know other calls upon our time other responsibilities and we just lose the momentum and then if that goes on for a prolonged period of time we actually lose the ability to concentrate and to give our mind to our music practice and if that's been the case and you've not been able to get down to serious music practice for quite some time it may well be that you first of all need to practice the art of practicing. Just get into the habit and how to practice before you can then really get down to the details of that music practice. And I think the secret is to start small. You need to learn to work smarter, not harder to begin with. And you need to learn to find that sort of concentration zone where you can just give your mind without being dissipated and called off and just not concentrating. And so I suggest that you just start small. Endeavour to spend whatever seems appropriate. Start with 10 minutes, but make sure that 10 minutes is totally focused time, no distractions whatsoever. So Get rid of your phone, any screens, just get them gone, even get them outside of the room. Don't have the TV on in the background, even if it's on mute, turn the screen off, have absolute silence. Maybe even if you want to set a timer, however, if you do want to set a timer, you think, right, I'm going to have 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you feel like you can cope with, less quality time is better than lots and lots of time but not really focused attention but if you do have a timer just be careful that you don't spend all of your time looking at that timer. perhaps have an old-fashioned sort of egg timer outside in another room and then when it buzzes you know you're done and hopefully it will just kind of surprise you because you're lost in concentration and you'd forgotten that it was going so Maybe just set yourself 10 minutes and I suggest that first of all you start with some scales and this is a good opportunity to sort of program your mind into thinking this is deep work time. I'm not just going to sit at my instrument and noodle around and sort of plonk about and have a little play. This is deep work, deep focused, concentrated practice time. Because you also, not only do you need to learn how to concentrate perhaps again, just remind yourself of that skill, but you need to build up your posture technique, you need to build your muscles, you may need to just develop your core strength so you can sit in the instrument position without getting too much muscle ache if you've not been able to practice for a while and scales is a good opportunity. If you know the notes, your brain is then free to think about am I sitting correctly? And just to check your posture while you're not too busy concentrating on notes and so on. So I suggest scales is a good place to start. And then after that, if you've not got a lot of time, perhaps it's better to just concentrate on two or three bars that are causing you problems. Just zone straight in target that weak area straight away and think if I'm going to look at nothing else today, I'm going to look at that tricky bar and I'm going to dissect it and I'm I'm going to separate it out and I'm going to figure out what's going on. And by then you will be surprised, I think, at how much time has passed by. And then when that 10 minutes, for example, is done, they think, right, I can have a little bit of a stretch and a walk around. And if that's it, if that's you done for the day, well, that's a good start and you will build your stamina, you'll build your concentration levels by degrees. However, you may find like, you know, no, I'm I'm in the zone and I'm doing this and I'm going to keep going and I'm going to just work this section out and I'm going to give myself five, ten minutes more. That's okay. And only then have you earned kind of the luxury of thinking I'm going to have a good old playthrough. 
The worst thing you can do as you're getting back into your music practice is start at the beginning of a piece and just play through and you could spend an hour, two hours, just kind of noodling through the piece. You feel like you've done loads and loads of work, you've had a great time, but in actual fact, you've not really achieved much bar than just standing still. However, you need to perhaps get into the practice of giving real deep work concentration. And don't be discouraged, you know, it's a technique. It's something that we need to learn or we need to relearn. If life's taken a lot out of us and we just need to get back into that zone of doing some quiet, focused study, that in itself is a technique. It's, a, it's an art form that you need to just establish. It doesn't just happen. We do need to establish and learn that habit of quiet study. There are so many distractions today that can call us away and they sort of fracture our attention span. And we need to learn how to focus. And so start small don't be discouraged, 10 minutes focused work is far better than a long period of time but not really achieving much quality. It's a good idea to get the support of those in your household just to say, please, unless, unless there's a dire emergency, please don't disturb me for this 10, 15, 20 minutes, 45 minutes, whatever it is that you feel you can manage. So please just respect and guard that space for me. And then it's down to you to be disciplined. Don't be looking at your phone. Don't be looking at other screens. Whatever it is you're doing, make sure you understand what your objective is. I need to sort this couple of bars out. I need to sort the fingering for this section out. Make sure you've got a plan. And then, of course, you work through that plan without distraction. So do be kind to yourself and allow yourself to learn this technique by degrees, little by little, build up your stamina, build up your concentration levels and slowly, little bit, little bit by bit, you will develop the technique of being able to practice and to concentrate and focus for longer and longer periods of time. And of course, as always, Enjoy your studies, enjoy playing your instrument and enjoy the journey. Thanks for listening. Bye.